Hello friends, welcome to today's video. I'm Kuma from 10x Flow SEO and I'm going to show you how to convert a Word Microsoft Word file directly to a WordPress page with using a simple plugin. This saves a lot of time and your effort and make things easier. Right. As we all know, uh, when we writing content, we use Microsoft Word or uh, Google Docs often. So um, if we can convert those files directly to WordPress, it will uh, make e things easy for us. Rather than yeah, things and formatting it, then it's hard. So um, today I'm going to show you how to convert these files with using a simple plugin. Okay, let's jump into the video. You can see I have uh, already uh, written a content uh, and added optimized uh, images to this uh, word. Actually, uh, this is uh, Google Docs, Google Doc file, and uh, you can see all the content. Now I need convert this content to direct uh, to a WordPress page. <clears throat> I will start the process here. In my WordPress uh, website, I have installed this special, very simple uh, conversion plugin called Mammoth Doc X Converter. Uh, you can add, uh, you have to install this first. I have already installed and activated that uh, so I can use that. Uh, when we first, you are going to uh, use this one, go to the plugin and add new and then uh, search this mammoth docx converter or uh, you can use this doc docx converter docx means that uh, microsoft word extension uh, file extension is a docx that's why it's used this docx converter if uh, it's okay if you are using this uh, uh, the google docs because um, we can generate uh, the file very easily right uh, let's start the process. I have already activated it. Then uh, I want to create a new page. Um, I'm going to a page and add new page. Okay. Uh -oh. Right. You know, you can see uh, I'm in new add new page uh, panel. Right. Um, here, after you install and activated the plugin, you will see a special panel called Mammoth Docx. Here, the bottom of the page. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and see you can see that a uh, new panel. Is there here now? Mammoth docx kernel, and there is no any uh, big options, just only one button. Uh, click on that and choose the file. Before uh, choosing the file, I have downloaded a docx file from this um, from this uh, uh, Google Doc file. Actually, uh, I have already this one. Uh, before you uh, before you uh, Upload the file you have to format in this uh, uh, Google Doc file. See, um, this is my heading main heading. So I have uh, formatted this as heading one. So H1 tag in HTML. Uh, so uh, I have added this other, this one heading two. And in this normal text, we call the paragraph. We can um, keep those texts as normal text. Then it will automatically format those normal text to paragraph format and uh, this heading headings or h tags as we have selected formatted in this uh, docx. Actually, I think uh, rather than using Microsoft Word, it's very easy to use uh, for this formatting the Google Doc. Um, See, I have already checked these things. See, you can see heading three, heading three, uh, setting two, likewise. Right. Uh, go to file and download 
Microsoft Word docx file and it will uh, file and automatically download it. Here is the uh, file I have downloaded and let's move the next step right here. I'm going to select the file here. Click on choose file and this browse window. You have to select this file just download. Then uh, it will show you a pretty actually uh, first they don't upload the all the content to the WordPress. Before that, they are showing. See, uh, the file is still in your computer, not in the WordPress. But this is only a uh, preview. You can check the preview, and uh, if there is any mistake in the formatting, you can uh, correct this. That uh, formatting in this again down. Then uh, choose, uh, click the button again and uh, see the preview. Okay, I think uh, my file is okay with the format. Then I want to insert this content to my WordPress editor. This is my editor. Uh, start the process. You have to click this insert into editor. Um, make sure that you click this only once because it takes some time to upload the images to wordpress and the back end as a background process so it takes some time uh, it's not a very a quick process uh, after you, it will takes few seconds uh, sometimes one minute because um, if your uh, content contains uh, that many images it takes some time that's why um, so if you uh, click twice or thrice so the same copy will insert it twice or thrice how many times you click on the uh, this uh, button then it will um, <clears throat> it will add uh, this multiply uh, by the time right uh, i will show that error show the mistake to you i will click click on this button twice one time again so you can see after clicking once you will see the inserting text this progressive uh, it will indicate us that inserting is in progress but uh, when you see that if you click again then it will insert the content two times now i have completed that so i will show you that mistake it's not a mistake about the plugin it's uh, about our action right here uh, is the is the main start of the uh, content my article and let us scroll down everything looks good and now you can see it this is the second copy because i clicked two times then it has in, uh, inserted uh, it two times so i can delete this for now because i i wanted to show you about this special mistake uh, right if you click once then no problem with this kind of issue now you can see as all the links and the headings and your text and images are now in your WordPress editor. Now you can make any changes as you want, and it saves a lot of time. If you are going to, um, if you used to uh, copy and paste to this WordPress box, it will take uh, some effort. Uh, but with this tool, this very tiny tool, uh, it saves a lot of time and it makes process very easier for us. If you find this video helpful, then please like our video and I invite you to subscribe our channel. Until a new content, take care. Bye bye.